All right guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to create a Minecraft server and how to actually port forward the IP the simplest and the quickest way possible. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to the link in the description. You're going to click on the download Minecraft server 1.16.5. This is how to do a vanilla server and how to play with your friends. All right, guys. So you're going to click on the Minecraft uh, underscore server 1.16.5. You're going to click on this and it's going to start downloading the server.jar. Now, I already have a, a folder created here for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag my server.jar into my uh, MC server folder. Next thing, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now, we don't really necessarily need that. We're going to go ahead and close that out. We're going to open up our server folder. Now, to be able to run the server, uh, you can just simply double click it. But what I like to do the best is go to new, go to text document, open it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this i have this in the description just go ahead and copy that also what i'm gonna do is put pause under it like this okay so copy and paste this and put that in there okay now you don't necessarily need pause um i just put it it just pauses it just in case again you don't need to put that but i recommend you do so once you have that in there just to show you it doesn't work it, you don't need it i'll just erase it but once you have this and also what we need to do is make sure that this is called server okay make sure that it's called server because right here what we have to do yours might look different right here it might just say server whatever dash just put server dot jar okay so then it makes sure that it reads this file now what we're going to do is we're going to go to file save file save as and now we got to make sure that uh, we are in our folder mc.server we're going to go rename it to run.bat and then you're going to put this as an all files. All right. And you're going to click save. All right. So you can get rid of this text document. Now you can see that we actually have the run and the server. So if we double click on the run, you can see it'll open up this command prompt. What will happen is it'll read the server. Okay. Uh, you can see it closed out, which is completely normal. We have to go ahead and accept the ULA. So you just name this to true. Save. Beautiful. All right. Reopen the server now. And now we just have to let it load all the extra files that we need to create our server. Now, while this is creating, what you can actually do is go down to your search bar, type in run or command prompt, type in command prompt. Okay. So then you'll see this command prompt come up and what you could do in here is type in your IP config. Okay. IP config enter. Now what that does is it'll bring you and show you all your, your IP addresses basically for uh, your cert for your um, router. Okay. Now we can see our server is done. We can go ahead and type stop. All right. So now the server is done. What we need to do, okay, is open up our. Um, I'm gonna open up a new notepad here just so we can go ahead and copy and paste our default gateway and stuff. But what we need to do is open up our server properties files, and then what we have to do is find our port, which is right here. Server port. Server port right here. You're gonna copy this put it in here so you know the port is 25565 and then what we need to do is head over to your ipv4 address right here we're going to control c that and then control v it so we know that this is our ipv4 at the top and then we need our default gateway at the bottom like so so now we know that we have our default gateway right here and the ip v4 right here and then this is the port okay so we have our port we have our ipv4 and we have the default gateway okay guys all right so now the server's closed it's ran up um what we need to do first is you see this server ip right here what you need to do is grab your ipv4 right here copy that and then put it in your ip in your server ip and then go to file save okay so now what you can do is close this out the server properties we don't need that what you're going to need to do is open up a your web browser make sure it's a new page doesn't really matter honestly grab your default gateway right here i'm just going to copy it and paste it and you're going to copy and paste it in the url up here okay and then you're going to click enter and what that's going to do it's going to bring you to your default gateway for your your um your router okay i mean you wouldn't be automatically logged in like i am okay but uh, it might ask you for username and password and under your router, it'll say username and password. Enter that. Okay. If it doesn't say that, call your provider and they will provide you with that. Once you have your actual username and IP, most usernames are just admin. And then the, uh, the password is, it'll say on your router. If it doesn't again, just call your provider, but enter that. 
and then you, everybody will be different because everybody has a different router right if yours looks like this that's awesome but you might have to play around and look for port forwarding in your browser okay and at first i couldn't find it so what i did is i went through diagnostics ethernet i looked up here through wireless don't be afraid to click around and check because uh you can see where it is but where i found mine was under advanced and you can see under here it says forwarding right here so if you find something with forwarding or port or something like that, as long as it says forwarding or port forwarding, you'll be completely fine. So I'm under forwarding. You can see here, again, yours will be completely different, but mine looks like this. You, yours might have a create IPv4. It might just let you edit this one, um, but I have to go ahead and create one. So now it's going to ask me for the local IP. And for that, what we need is basically just our, uh, we need our port or IPv4. So let's go ahead and copy our IPv4 address and let's put that in our local IP and we're going to put that in the external IP. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the port, the 25565. We're going to put it in our local, our local start and our local end and we're going to put it in our external and our external port. Now, some of you guys might only have external, so that's completely fine. If you have local, just make sure you enter the same info as the external. Under protocol, you're going to go to both. If you don't have that, you're going to have to click TCP. And then you're going to have to hit apply and then you're going to have to make a new IPv4 and then the, the second one you're going to click UDP. But I'm just going to go ahead and click both. Under description, I'm just going to put Minecraft and then click apply. There you go. So now we went ahead and port forwarded our IPv4. We know that this port is what we're looking for, the wireless, so we can accept people that want to join this IPv4 to our router. And there you go, guys. That's how you port forward it. Now, once you're done that, okay, I do want to also advise that once you're done that, you might not be able to immediately, uh, if your friends still can't join, okay, what you have to do is you maybe, is sometimes for some people, it's under um, maybe options. Uh, if you have like a, um, a Windows firewall that is maybe blocking your friends from joining okay so what i did before is i just went to my windows fire firewall defender and then i just unchecked um guest and public network okay so under there you go to advanced settings and then you can just check mark uh check mark off the um right here the public profile okay so outbound connections do not match you can go ahead and click this on the properties and then you can allow outbound connections okay so then you can allow that so you allow people to join the connection. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hop in the game. Uh, we have to start our server up first. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the game and I'll show you guys it work. All right, guys. So now we are actually in the game. Let's go ahead and add a server. And what you need to do is copy your IPv4 address. And that's it. And then click done. And as you can see now, we can go ahead and join the server. And that's it, guys. And that's how you port forward your ad. That's how you port forward a Minecraft server. And there you go. We are fully in the server. So all you have to do now is send your friends the server IP V4 and they're going to be able to join your server. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's literally it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, guys. I completely showed you guys how to make a complete server and port forward the server. The simplest way I could explain it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this video helped you, of course, make sure to click that subscribe, man. It helps out a lot. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been giving the channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys.